What's going on guys? Welcome back in the Rover Sports and I just wanted to preview this game. I already gave out the betting line for this game, but I was listening to um, the Bill Simmons podcast. Sometimes I listen to him on The Ringer and it was actually Ryan Rosillo's new podcast. I actually like Ryan Rosillo and he went over to The Ringer and uh, Bill Simmons was there. And to make a long story short, he listed, they all listed the top quarterbacks that they would select for the next three. And they selected who would be the best quarterback in three years. And almost all of the panel, either, so a few of them selected Wentz, but the overriding favorite was Patrick Mahomes. And I told you guys that before the season, I predicted that Mahomes and the Chiefs would be a Super Bowl team. And it's funny to see just how crazy the last two weeks have been because the Mahomes hype, I was driving the bus, I was driving a couple of passengers for the Mahomes bandwagon, and the Kansas City fans that subscribed, you know, will tell you that. That I was one of the first people that said this Mahomes guy is going to be amazing. The Denver Broncos tape from last year was extraordinary. Some of the throws that he was making and the weapons that he has. Now the thing about Mahomes is that a couple of people who criticize him can say, well, who wouldn't succeed with you know Watkins, Tyreek Hill, the guys like Jeff Schwartz or the guys on the offensive line like Morse and Schwartz and whatever, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, DeAnthony Thomas, and Andy Reid as an offensive coordinator. Who wouldn't succeed? But the type of throws that Mahomes been making, the type of stress he puts on the defense, he's truly a special player, and I think he's going to be absolutely amazing. Now, a lot of people are picking Kansas the city you know to go to the Super Bowl this lines out to seven points and suddenly everybody's been from the Jimmy Garoppolo hype to now the Patrick Mahomes hype and this is why this game for Jimmy Garoppolo is incredibly important if Jimmy Garoppolo goes in the arrowhead and the San Francisco 49ers defeat the Kansas City Chiefs upset them and stun them the 49ers would then be two and one and Jimmy Garoppolo, this is a chance for Jimmy Garoppolo to prove that he is right up there with the upper echelon of quarterbacks in the NFL. Unfortunately for Jimmy Garoppolo, this Kansas City defense has allowed an average around 500 yards a game. The Chargers put up 28 versus the Chiefs. The Steelers, I believe, put up 32 points against the Chiefs. The Chiefs' defense is lacking a lot of personnel, but Bob Sutton calls a very conservative game plan. Look for Jimmy Garoppolo in this game to control the time of possession. Now, Akela Weverspoon's been getting picked on. He was picked on by Matthew Stafford, Jakorski Tart, and Colbert are young. The secondary hasn't been great outside of Richard Sherman for, for the 49ers. If Patrick Mahomes loses this football game, there will be no panic from Chiefs fans or Mahomes. But for Jimmy Garoppolo, we look at Jimmy Garoppolo in a different light. And last year, Jimmy Garoppolo had a great, great season. And he was the Patrick Mahomes of last year. He was the darling of the offseason. But throughout two games, he didn't look good against the Vikings. And I'm going to show you a, some tape against the Lions where... They almost blew the game. He almost threw an interception to lose. And the perception about Garoppolo is we've had such high expectations for Jimmy G. And our expectations for Mahomes, the universal expectation, no, but not a lot of people saw the Mahomes hype coming. And the people that were behind Mahomes like me, I told you that it was coming. Now people are taking the hype that I started out. I was driving the Mahomes bus saying that Mahomes would be an MVP candidate, that he'd truly be spectacular. And now suddenly, I was driving this bus, but now everybody's hopping in sports cars, and they're taking the Mahomes bandwagon, and they're going at an astronomical rate that even I, the one that, that told you about Mahomes, even I can't equal the type of hype that now people are putting on him. That he's going to be an MVP candidate. That they'd have Mahomes over Carson Wentz. That out of every young quarterback in the NFL, whether it was Watson, whether it was Garoppolo, that they would take Patrick Mahomes over anybody, over any player, over Sam Darnold, over any player. And 
I look at Jimmy Garoppolo and he's the old stable horse. He's the guy that initially that I was that I was in favor with and I still believe Jimmy Garoppolo can be just as good as Mahomes and this game for Jimmy is just about everything. He's going into a place a one and one Niners team and if the Niners make the Super Bowl if they win the Super Bowl Jimmy Garoppolo can reclaim the fame of the future of the NFL. So this game for him in Kansas City means a ton because you watch Jimmy on tape and Jimmy at times has shied away from pressure. He at times is afraid to step up into the pocket. He throws off his back foot with the quick release and it is time for Jimmy to also, this is another thing I want to say about Garoppolo and I'm going to say it in the film review that I'm probably going to release tonight where he threw it about 25 times. Jimmy Garoppolo Last year, everybody said that he will only get better because he's going to know more of the playbook because this is just an introduction, just an appetizer of Jimmy Garoppolo when really last year he was playing incredible and he had no expectation and not a lot of people around him, not a lot of players. Now the expectation is to hear People are tired of hearing about Jimmy Garoppolo, and he's had the playbook, and this is my theory about Jimmy Garoppolo and Jimmy G. First off, I think that he was very confident heading into the year, but I don't think it's overconfidence. But the point is, is that Jimmy Garoppolo last year was taking the easy throw. Now Jimmy Garoppolo is trying to make the heroes play. Because he knows so much of this playbook, because all this expectation was put on him, that he's forcing things. He's not just letting the game play out. He's paying attention to the noise, and it's almost impossible to not pay attention to the hype and the noise. That he's trying to make the second level throw every time, instead of just getting the ball out of his hands, and instead of making the routine play. Because when he was with the Shanahan offense, he was just trying to survive. You know, He was just trying to move the chains, and he was not doing anything fancy last year. But now everybody thinks that just because he has all all this knowledge, just because Kyle's showing him all these new toys, that now he's forcing things. Now he's forcing the issue. He's forcing the offense. When really he just needs to play within the system and play more like he did last year and let the chips fall where they may. He needs to just be the guy last year. He just needs to be good enough to function in the system and he just needs to play at an elementary level in the in the Kyle Shanahan offense and he'll be fine. He doesn't need to listen to people that are hyping him up, that are saying that Jimmy needs to do this and he put needs to put up numbers with the rest of these young kids in the NFL. That that are saying that Fitzpatrick and everybody's incredibly better than Jimmy Garoppolo and Jimmy the hype is ridiculous. If Jimmy's two and one, he wins football games, he wins the NFC West, he gets the Super Bowls and wins the Super Bowl MVP. All of that will be put away. And if Jimmy goes out there and beats Mahomes and then has a winnable game against the Chargers, he can do a lot this week. Unfortunately for Mahomes. The game means more. If he beats Jimmy, the the hype will rise. If he has a struggling game, people will say he's young. With Jimmy G, this Kansas City defense is bad. There's not a lot of, I mean, he needs to go out and win the game somehow. And he needs to control the game. And then people will still hate and say that this Chiefs defense is terrible. It's time for Jimmy G to play within himself. I have faith in Garoppolo. Surprisingly, People don't know if I'm a Niners or a Chiefs fan. To tell you the truth, I I happen to like a lot of what both franchises are doing. I kind of support the offenses and the head coaches. I think that they're both very likable teams. I believe the Niners are getting disrespected in this spot. Tons of Chiefs fans sticking out their chests at the Niners. I believe Jimmy Garoppolo actually wins this game. I think that the way that the Lions came back will light a fire under the 49ers. I'm picking the Niners in this one 35-24. A convincing win for the the 49ers. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But this game is just amazing now. The parallels, the two trains crossing in the night. Last year's darling and the young kid Mahomes that absolutely everybody is on. It's like you knew a rock star 
And then, and then the rock group got so popular that now everybody's saying, are they the greatest rock band of all time? And you were just like, I love this music and these guys are going to be stars. The people that said Mahomes would be stars before the season, even they probably are stunned with how amazing everything's been. I was honestly watching that Steelers game. I wanted the Chiefs to go up 28 to nothing. I do like the Kansas City Chiefs. I do. I'm rooting for them to be very, very successful. They're my Super Bowl pick. When Mahomes was hitting touchdowns, this is what I was doing the whole game. I was doing the Lane Kiffin. Hands in the air. I just love this game is just going to be a must-watch game. I cannot wait to even see. I cannot wait to see it. Arrowhead Stadium. I've been to a Kansas City Royals game at Kauffman. I've been around. I believe it's a Sheridan around the area. It's very cool. It's like 15 minutes outside of KC. KC has the best steakhouses in the world. It's an awesome city. And I'm just telling you that the Sea of Red, it's a bucket list sort of thing that I want to go to a Chiefs game in Arrowhead. And the people that are going to this game should be treated to a absolute just light fireworks show, a treat. And it's going to be fun. These next two games for Kansas City are fun. 49ers. Denver in Denver. Denver is a six-point underdog to the to the Baltimore Ravens, which is very telling about what Vegas thinks of the Denver Broncos. If they lose to a touchdown to the Ravens, I would be pretty appalled. I would be because I, I believe in Denver as well. I think Denver showed me a lot this year. So anyway, guys, cannot wait for the game. I'll probably do a Jimmy review. I'll try to get to some of Holmes again. I'll be watching this game, so hopefully next week can do film reviews of just everything uh, about this football game. And uh, you guys just hang in there, and you guys enjoy the heck out of this weekend and this football game. Cannot wait to talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching the vids.